Hello and welcome to TGR, the Green Reviewer. Now, it's dinner time, lunch time for me in the Liebert household, and that can only really mean one thing, a new review. So today, I'm going to review this product. It's uh, Green Cuisine by Bird's Eye, powered by plants. Ooh, powered by plants. And these are some meat-free sausages. I'm gonna throw them in a, in a nice bun, do it, like, do it a bit like a sausage burger kind of thing. Uh, I am pretty hungry, so I would imagine it's gonna get a favorable result. It's gonna to have to be minging for it not to get a good mark because I'm so hungry. But I'm gonna fry, throw these in a frying pan and then throw them inside a burger or place them in. I'm not gonna throw them inside a burger. And then I'm gonna tell you what they're like. No judging based on taste, how much like meat they actually taste like and whether or not I just actually happen to like them. These from Frozen, I'm gonna have three because I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna have three in a burger. Yes, I am. Don't judge me. All right, my sausages are now cooked. So before I put them inside my burger, I've toasted off my, my buns. I toasted my buns, okay, lap it up. I've toasted off my buns and I'm, and I'm getting ready to make up my sandwich. Before I do that, I just wanna taste the sausage by itself before I slather it with whatever I normally like to put in a sausage. So I'm just gonna taste it straight. So here we go. All right. Smells good. Meaty-esque. I mean, it's kind of a meaty-esque smell. Not unpleasant. Texture. Quite sure if you can see that. Quite a convincing looking sausage type smell. Uh, smell. Quite a convincing looking sausage type consistency. Not quite sure if the camera can pick that up. Yeah. So, texture wise, it looks good. Smells okay. It's browned up nicely. That's what it tastes like. Okay. But slightly weird. I don't need to explain anything, but I'll define that. Let me try again. Try another, try another mouthful just to kind of. So you can articulate any better than weird. I need to find a word better than weird. It's okay. Um, not a bad flavor. It tastes slightly like, and this sounds really bad. It tastes very slightly like when something's going off. Now they haven't gone off because they are frozen and they cook straight from frozen, but it's got that kind of flavor. It's almost like it's slightly going off but not quite. It's almost got a nuance of offness about it. I'm gonna eat it, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying that's the kind of flavor it's, it's kind of got. But not disgusting, although you would think it was disgusting based on my description, but kind of a slightly weird, it's slightly artificial type taste as well. So I'm not loving that part, but let's stick it inside a sandwich and see what it's like. All right, I'm just gonna make up my sandwich. For me, I'm just gonna have, keep, keep it relatively simple. I'm gonna have some salad. So I've got my salad leaves here. I must have salad on the, on the sandwich for me. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to add a bit of cheese. Now I've got a bit of vegan cheese in here. It's from Tesco's Free From Range, which is excellent. I'm gonna do a, a vegan cheese review all by itself. So I don't wanna to say to give this too much away, but Tesco's own is actually one of the best, but I haven't compared them all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that another time. But for now, I'm gonna try a little bit of the missus hasn't left me very much, but I'll try a bit of the vegan cheese. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the vegan cheese on. There's only a little bit left. Again, full cheese review coming up soon because there's so many vegan cheeses out now. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of mustard on this just to kind of, a little bit of sauce. I would do a little bit of ketchup, but I don't have any. Tomatoes. A little bit of tomato. Now the thing with this is that once you start putting ingredients on, there's so many other things your, your palate's gonna be interested in, and the sausage can, and sometimes can just become a texture, uh, a texture inside of a sandwich as opposed to the thing itself, which, in this case, isn't a bad thing. Well, because I'm not actually loving the flavor of this actual sausage, but, oh yeah. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a mess here with my sandwich, but let's give it a go. So now the same sausages are inside a nice sandwich. Mm. As I thought, once you put it inside of a sandwich and you add salad and a bit of mayo and cheese, the other flavor elements can kind of 
step up, step up a little bit and compensate for the flavour directly of the sausage. But in a sausage sandwich, I think the sausage itself should be the star. And I'm not sure this one is. It's nice. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat it. Um, but tasting the sausage by itself, they're not the kind of sausage that would stand up. Like if you're having a dish like bangers and, na bangers and mash, which is one of the dishes I'm going to do in a couple of weeks. A bangers and mash where the taste of the actual sausage itself is important. I wouldn't use this particular sausage for this. If I was doing a, a barbecue or something or just wanted to um, have some sausages inside of a bun or a hot dog, I might use this, but even then, you'd have to have a lot of sauce to go on top of it. So, it's got a good texture, it's got a, a good colour on it, they look good, but taste-wise, not so keen. Let's give it one more bite to kind of make sure. Mm. I'm hungry, I'm going to eat it, but... Would I buy these again? I don't think I would. I have a product that's okay for some uses, but ultimately, if you wanted to buy it just for the flavour of the sausage itself, you're not quite sure? No. I wouldn't touch your bio sausages again. Um, I don't like the flavour of them. It tastes a little bit weird. Texture's good. Um, the colour on it's good when you, when, you, when you fry them up in a pan. But taste, which is the most important part of any sausage or, or, or food in general, is a little bit lacking for me slightly weird flavor on it that I don't actually enjoy. So I would not buy that product, that particular product by Bird's Eye again. Anyway, so a TGR, the green review, a mark out of five. I'm gonna change these marks to a mark out of 10 because sometimes you need sort of more variation to give you a gap between different products. So for me, an overall mark out of 10 for that particular sausage an overall mark in me, taking into consideration the flavour, uh, the smell, the texture, everything else. I'm going to go a fairly disappointing 3 out of 10. Not disgusting, but not pleasant enough for me to buy it. I, would, I wouldn't even buy them if there were any other alternatives. So that's, for me, that's, that's, that's the test. If there weren't any other sausages, would I still buy these? No, because they've got a, a, a taste about them that makes me feel a bit... Not quite sick, but... Mm. So, 3 out of 10. A bit disappointing. I applaud Bird's Eye for having a go at their vegan sausages. I applaud it. I don't know if they've got any more. I have to go out and check to see if they've got any different variations. But that particular brand, um, not so good. In my opinion. 3 out of 10. Boom.